on the tour. What a threesome. Michael Eves leads our coverage from beautiful La Jolla, California. Good evening, Zubin. And yes, it is a beautiful day here in Southern California, but it was a good news, bad news start for Torrey Pines today. The good news is that Mother Nature dropped a lot of precipitation in the area, been going through a drought, so it's needed. It just didn't need it in that short period of time, so it made for very soggy conditions here this morning as players continue their preparation for the Farmers Insurance Open. And that, of course, includes Tiger Woods, as you mentioned. What people saw in Bahamas gave them a lot of belief that 2017 could be the season that they've wanted to see from Tiger Woods in quite some time. And for Tiger himself, he may have those same goals. Faith. It's the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. And for Tiger Woods, faith in himself has never waned, even though confidence in his game and his body have wavered in recent years. Prior to the Hero World Challenge in December, Woods may have felt as if he had been down so long that it looked like up to him. No PGA Tour start since 2015. No win since 2013. And no major victories since 2008. But 15 months removed from a third back surgery, Woods found some bounce back in the Bahamas. Not from his 15th place showing in a 17-man field, but rather in his ability to simply walk and complete four competitive rounds in a row. This stretch where I've been out for almost a year and a half has been, been rough, and the last few years have been rough. It's been a long break. It's been a very difficult break, and uh, for me to get back out here and play, man, it, it really did feel good. But it wasn't just how he felt in the Caribbean that has Woods and his fans feeling excited about a 2017 comeback. They are also buoyed by how he played. Woods led the field that weekend with 24 birdies. And now, eight weeks later, he returns to an old favorite, Torrey Pines, armed with a new swing, new equipment, and a new outlook, looking to prove yet again that just like hope, faith too springs eternal. Joined now by ESPN Golf Analyst Andy North. And Andy, we talked about the preparations leading into the week. We expected to see Tiger Woods today play a few holes, but didn't see him on the golf course today. What do you make of that? I think the biggest thing, it was really cold this morning. He planned on going out early on. It was very, very cold and wet, and he decided not to, hoping it'd get warmer as the day went on. And it, it did warm up some in the middle part of the day, and he just made the decision that you know maybe staying warm was a better better way to get prepared than come out of here and sloshing around. As you said earlier, really wet on the golf course, and sometimes you're better off not practicing in those conditions. Now, he will go out tomorrow in the Pro-Am, a very early start, 640 in the morning here locally in the San Diego area. Not quite sure what those playing conditions will be see what mother nature does over the evening hours but let's talk about the pairing itself he's going to play with world number one jason day and the 2016 tour player of the year in dustin johnson um if you're dialing up the perfect pairing for tiger woods tomorrow is that it I think basically you've got the television audience hooked. You've Absolutely, got everybody yeah. you want in one group. Uh, I think it's good for Tiger to come out here and play with the guys who are playing the absolute best. I think that only helps him. And uh, just to just to get up back in the swing of things, he's very comfortable with both those players, and I think that's important. Now, golfers at home, Andy, when they go out and play with big hitters, they try to keep up with them. Their game falls apart, as you well know. Uh, what's the likelihood that Tiger can be affected by where Dustin and Jason are driving the ball tomorrow? Well, I think he can definitely be affected. I mean, this this. This is the golf course is so wet as we were talking about. It's it's going to help to be able to carry the ball a long way in the air, and both those guys do that exceptionally enough. They start hitting a 20 or 25 by Tiger. It could get him out of his comfort zone, trying to do more than he's capable. I know he's been working really hard on you know great rhythm and and swinging is creating speed, but not over swinging. And you don't want to get out there and get into that over swing mode. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out tomorrow. By the way, Tiger posted a. Something on his Twitter page earlier saying a big announcement tomorrow. We will hear from Tiger Woods tomorrow. We have that for you. Very special show on ESPN2 live from right here at Torrey Pines. But for now, we send it back to Bristol with one final look at Southern California. Torrey Pines, one of the best public courses in all of the country. Of course, hosted the 2008 U.S. Open the last time Tiger Woods won a major championship.